Hi, Nick from Hi-Fi Collective here. Do you want to see something really interesting? Follow me. So this is Ellie Kit Corner. All of our kits are stored here. We actually have some at the back as well. TU8500, TU8200, TU8900, TU8550, but TU8100. But what's this one? TU8850. They all sound the same actually, but that is this is a new kit. Basically, it's an upgraded version of the TU8200R. Bigger chassis, a lot better chassis design actually in my mind. And you can use a lot more different types of pentode with a bit more juice. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna take one of these chaps and we're gonna unbox it and show you what's inside. So we've got the box, the TU8850 pentode amplifier kit from Ellie Kit in the office. Gonna open it up. These guys are already on the site and people are already buying them. So when we buy them from Kit, they ship them over on a pallet like this. It's not cheap getting this stuff over from Japan, but um, they are amazing kits. Right, so a box within a box. Way. Nice label there. This is what it looks like. Looks like a bit of a cartoon drawing, not the real thing. Pento single ended power amp kit 8850. So you can see from the picture, you've got your volume. That's a quarter inch jack for your phono. And you're on off. Cool. Right, let's open her up. I'm going to put this on the stool here. It's be easier. So I can get it out piece by piece. So I'm going to be building this one. Instructions. Mm, in English, I think. Yes, in English. Brilliant. We'll also send you, if you buy one of these, we'll send you a PDF because people might like to look at their things on a tablet. That's cool. Just going through, I always find Eddie Kit's amazing to build. So pictorial. Like this, look. You see that? Go through all the parts, what you're doing. Board. So not a lot of descriptive text, but you don't need it if this picture's there. What do they say? Picture's worth a thousand. Mm. Right, cool. So there's the instructions. And there's the board. So you've got some stickers here, which I would have thought would reference things inside the kit. Um, the board, is one piece, but you can see there's snaps here. So you'll break off pieces of it as you're going on with the build. Everything's very clear, everything's labeled. You can see, quality board. There's that. A bit of packaging. This looks to me like the cage. going to open this up a little bit just to show you how to do it. Ah, so the cage is actually plastic mesh arrangement so I assume you just build it up. I mean I, I personally wouldn't use a cage I'll just keep them open 
This looks like the extension for the on off switch. So you press it through and the switches at the back, which is always a good idea. Put that back in the bag. Power cord, Japanese end, which isn't great. And then you've got another PCB. This is the AC unit for 230 degrees, which is what people in Europe and the UK would use. You can use 110 volt, 115 volt. So it can be used anywhere around the world. Component bags here. So you've got your, see your feet, your control knobs, resistors, diodes, connectors in there caps in here and speaker posts. I mean, reasonable components. You can improve on that and we will probably do an upgrade kit on this for sure. Oh, look, I, I, I recognize belt and bow bases. So that's a change. You don't normally get beltons. So there's some hard and, and there as well. That's cool. Lots of switches, your volume control and your hardware screws and things there. This looks like the mains transformer. Pretty hefty. That's cool. They have this, they do use connectors a lot here on this, on their kits, which makes for easy construction when you're putting everything together. There's the chassis. Let's pop that there for the minute. We'll go. Hold on, I'm gonna map that in a minute. It's kind of cool. It's the shape. Front panel. Nice. Looks like a anodized aluminium front plate. So power on off, phono, volume. Cool, much better than that, um, some of their earlier bits and bobs. For example, this one, there's a few stickers there. I mean, it's a great kit, but this is a big improvement. This kind of chassis work. Just, is that, is that a problem what I've done there? Is that right? No? Right, Trans transformers. These are the output transformers. Let's have a quick look. They're quite hefty, these. E and I core, quite substantial then. And again, with connectors on, which makes putting them together easily. So these are Ellie kit supplied transformers. They are working on a Lundahl version of that, which as soon as we know what transformers they're going to use, we'll order them direct from Sweden, from Lundahl, um, and we'll get that underway. So that's the box empty. Let's have a look at this. It's like Christmas. I mean, the box is really well put together. Ooh. So it looks like a black powder coat or spray. Look at that. So good ventilation at the bottom. Valves sit up here. It's got a kind of not a hammerite finish, but speckledy effect finish going on, which is cool. I wonder what this is made of. I bet it's made of steel. We've got a magnet. Pass that speaker there. That one there. Yep, it's steel. 
hard steel. Right, and then the, the rear, you've got your inputs. So it only looks like there's one pair of inputs in. Um, and then you've got, these will be your speaker posts, and you've got your IC coming in there. Cool. Brill. So let me just summarize this kit for you. So the blurb here, which you can pick off the site, um, it says it's a power amplifier kit which allows the use to try various types of octal based pentodes and major beam tubes. So that means that it's very flexible. There are different types of tubes you can use. So for example, oh, there's three, there's three settings that you have to, you can adjust with. I've seen the switches. You've got a high mode, which give you a higher output um, kind of, Valve, so 6550, KT88s, KT90s, KT120s, KT150s, KT170s, which are pretty awesome looking, so I'd, I'd definitely try with those. And then you've got your mid power um, output valve, 6L6GD, 5881, 7581, KT66, KT77, EL346CA7. So cool, and the low one, low mode is 6L6, 6L6G, 6L6GB, WE6550. So you can actually, say if you're going for a KT170, an ultra linear mode, you get 16 watts a, ch a channel, awesome, a lot of power. Um, you can also switch between ultra linear mode and triode mode, brilliant. Um, there seems to be settings for adjusting your headphone um, output um, and the gain switch which you would adjust so it looks like low noise cool brilliant I'm looking forward to building this one see you later just before I sign off I want to say a big thank you for watching our videos like and subscribe and follow us on all the social network platforms see you later